Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr. And I... I'm just checking in on you. I'm just checking in on you. Seeing how you're doing. How are you today? Huh? Are you upset? Thursday afternoon, Thursday night football. What happened? What happened during the song this time? That made people upset and decided that they were going to get all up in arms about their corner of the fucking world. Unbelievable. I'm so fucking... Now I'm going to be the guy talking. I'm so fucking listening to people making that thing about what they want it to be about. It's like that's not what the initial protest was about. If you would like to discuss police brutality, I'm more than willing to listen to it. I don't want to hear your fucking soliloquy. You know, all those people who are like, you know, want to be the irreverent, like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah, of course you don't care. It doesn't fuck what they're talking about doesn't affect you. It's not about you. Okay. Who gives a fuck? It's one moment at the beginning of the game, commenting on something that people are trying to fix. That's all. That's all. My biggest complaint about tonight's game between the Bears and the fucking Packers is they stop the game because there's potential of lightning. God for fucking bid, somebody gets electrocuted. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how important human beings still consider other human beings. I just don't. It really isn't about that. It's like, do you think the NFL gives a fuck about you? They don't. They don't give a shit about you. They don't want you to get electrocuted because then you can't go out and buy another jersey or another ticket or NFL Sunday ticket. That's what they care about. And somehow they're going to get blamed, right? Because everybody in the crowd is going to be like, well, they should have known that God was going to do that. (laughs) You should have known what the weather was going to be. You know, there's no more, hey, fucko, you went outside. You know what's outside? Lightning. And you went outside, and God damn it, lightning found you. And that's your own dumb luck. Guess what? You're going to have your own Wikipedia page now. You don't have one now. Nobody knows who the fuck you are, but you get struck by lightning. Somebody's going to find you on Wikipedia. Maybe you won't get your own page. You might be on a page that's just a list of people struck by lightning in 2017 or or, or in whatever the fuck we're calling this decade. It has to be an extraordinary uh, circumstance when you get struck by lightning for you to get your own Wikipedia page. You have to get struck by lightning, and then something else happens. You're struck by lightning, you catch on fire, and you run into a paper mache factory, all right, with a bunch of children there whose make-a-wish was that they could go to a a fucking paper mache factory. Then you run in there, and then and it all goes up, and all those little kids die. Then, now then you'd have to share it with the kids. It's a tough thing. It's hard to get struck by lightning and get your own Wikipedia page. You know? You know, it's funny. If that actually happened, you got struck by lightning. You had a nice afro going. You catch it on fire. You run into a paper mache factory. There was a bunch of make-a-wish kids in there, and then they all fucking died. The funniest fucking thing about all that is how much shit your relatives would get. You know what I mean? Saying, oh, you know that that guy? He's one of those Wilson kids. Yeah, you know, his fucking brother gets struck by lightning instead of just dying, laying there, burning the fucking asshole. Cunt that he is runs into a paper mache factory and kills a bunch of kids that were already dying anyways. You know? And then everybody treats them like shit. Like you can keep your wits about you when your head's on fire. The bottom line is, is uh, I don't know what happened to football. I don't ever remember it being stopped because of weather. It used to be they play in all kinds of weather, right? And you had the ice bowl up there in Green Bay. You had that game where all the locusts descended down on the Kansas City Chiefs when they played the fucking uh, New York Titans. I'm just making up shit at this point. I don't know what happened to the game, but now any time. There's going to be a little bit of crosswind. What if it blows somebody's sunglasses off and goes into somebody's eye? I mean, Jesus Christ, those those people, that's Wisconsin. The amount of layers of clothes... And blubber you have to go through after the lightning strikes them to even like, you know, rattle a few fillings loose of the average person in Wisconsin. These are these are these are wholesome people up there. Okay. 
They get that L.L. Bean catalog, and to those people, that is formal wear. Do you understand that? You know, when you get married in Wisconsin, you can actually show up, you know, you know, like everybody, you're going to wear tails with your tuxedo. They ask them if they're going to wear those fucking, you know, those rubber pants, those fucking <laughs> the suspenders when you go trout fishing. Somebody was saying there was some fucking guy, he walked out into the ocean. I don't know where the fuck he was, in a river, some sort of water, a watery area, and he walked in there, and this wave came in and washed into his fucking pants. <laughs> it took him, tipped him over, and he couldn't get up. Because the combination of the weight of his ass and his legs, those rubber pants and all the water in it, it just fucking, uh, he drowned. I don't know if that's true. That sounds like something a fucking old lady would tell. I used to know this fucking old lady when I was a kid, you know, back when, you know, parents didn't watch their kids. Like parenting back in the day, you woke up, you gave them fucking, you know, the multicolored cereal. You opened the door and they went outside and they just met other kids and with your kid brains, you figured out what you were going to do that day. Well, there was this old lady who lived around the corner, and she used to always tell us all these crazy fucking stories. She had terrible candy, too, but you'd still show up. I don't know why. And she used to be, one time there, I mean, she'd be, one time there was this guy, and he, he tried to stomp his foot down on the brakes to stop so he wouldn't go through the stop sign. And she said that his leg went all the way up into his body, and, and it was like six inches shorter. And for the rest of his life, he walked around and he couldn't get, you know, and I used to come home and I'd repeat the stories to my mother, right? I'd be like, Mom, you, 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 you know, one time there was a guy, his leg went up into his body. And she, one day she finally, I think, was listening to me. She just looked at me. And she goes, who told you that? And I was like, oh, the lady down the street. She goes, don't listen to her. She's crazy. I don't know why my mother talked like that. I needed to do a different voice. She doesn't smoke. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but what would you expect from someone who forgot it was Thursday? All right, there you go. There you go. Um, somebody asked me to do a ben benefit today for Puerto Rico. Those poor bastards are still without power or, you know, after, after getting hit by that hurricane and everybody's over here talking about somebody taking a knee. I actually think taking a knee is more respectful than standing up, isn't it? Christ, the guy's on his fucking knees. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Hopefully people stop focusing on the song and start focusing more on the heroin epidemic, right? Oh, I'm on my soapbox. The fact that we're feeding cows to other cows and cutting the beaks off of birds that are walking around doing face plants because their breasts are too fucking big. You know? You can't even give them a beak to fucking land on. That's like that Max uh, Get Smart episode where they put him in the gurney and they strapped him in and then it was only one of those fucking rotary doors. And they, <laughs> they stood him up. You ever seen that one? They push him through and he does the fucking face plan. Oh, that bit killed me. I loved it back in the day. 